Welcome to Napco Video Tech Tip. Today we are going to go over the setting up of the messenger service on your iBridge account. So first you would like to go into your iBridge account and you want to log in. You want to make sure that your icon in the upper right hand side under the key set up messages is there. So at this point you know that you ha it's active in your account. So now you have to go to log out. You have to log back in with your administrative code. That's the one that you register your units with. Then you will go into user management, go into subscribers, then you would find your account, go to page two. And this is my account right here. I would click on the pencil, which is the update subscriber information. I would click on that. Take me to my subscriber update information. You have your account information. If you have an IVR. What you want to do first is you want to go to IZ remote settings. You want to retrieve IZ remote settings. Okay, so once you get your IP address and 5050, which is the port, you know, and this is your MAC address, you know that your unit is talking to our server, and that's what you want to do. Then you have to go to your panel type, set up your panel type, whatever panel you have on there, your master security code, if you're using a PC security code. You want to check allow IZ users update user codes. The same thing for update zone descriptions. You can name your panel and then your time zones. And then you just click on update notifications. And at that point, you're all set up in your subscriber information. So you log out. Account now. So your subscriber. And then you go into your setup screen. Okay, and you're going to come to your notifications, message notification center. What you want to do is you want to scroll down. You want to go to your user codes. First time you upgrade your unit, you upload your unit, uh, your user codes, you want to press one, two, three. And this is all the user codes that I have in there. As you put your uh, your uh, information in your address books, your names will pop up. Then you can scroll back, and you can go to your sensor list. Just going to update all your zone descriptions. I had done that already, so all you have to do is update them all. If you want to change any, you can change some right from here as well. Now, you want to go in and you want to put in your clients that you want to notify. So I had gone in there and I had put my name in there already. If I wanted to add another one, I would just go into Add New. I would choose a first name, last name, email, with the phone number, cell phone number was, and then with Provider. 
it was they using and then click on whatever control panel user they are and then you would just go ahead and hit save right down here and then you can also send a text test or email test and you just do that for each individual user that you want to have notifications gone to then you can go to your notifications list and this is where you can start setting up your events so you would first start off in here and you would choose the event that you want to do so you can do an alarm event arm disarm event camera motion video if you have YC cameras in there high low temperature if you have Z wave um, lock activity missed arming event missed disarming event if there's a silent alarm uh, system total system events system video trigger zone activity and the zone left open so you can create any one of those events so if you wanted to add one you just go into choose the one you want to add you click add new you would have to name it and then select any of your choices that you have for that so you could do specific alarms if you wanted to fire burglary panic or you can do any alarms you can do specific zones if you wanted to You'll check out all your zones so if you wanted to have a couple of zones added in there and then you would just go in and you would add who you want to be notified and you select your user and you hit save and then when you go back that event will be in there right over here and then you would just continue with whatever kind of events that you wanted to create in this list or you can go back and we have a default list emergency events you know medical alarm has occurred receive notifications when you detect alarm high load temp You have family emergencies, basic, elder care. These are all predefined ones that we put in there. Pet care, vacation home, locking, business. Okay, and then when you're done with that, all you have to do is hit exit. Close that down. And then go ahead and log out of your account. And you're all, all set up. Thanks for viewing.